Welcome to this next episode in the Colfax RPA Deep Dive series. My name is Jesper Scherpenhauser, and today I'd like to talk to you about Colfax RPA and the Google Cloud Natural Language Platform, and actually how to have your Colfax RPA robots to leverage the capabilities unlocked by the Google Cloud Natural Language Platform. In today's episode, I'd like to talk to you about how to do this. I'd like to show you how you can get your um, uh, your Google Cloud account set up, how you can get your API keys, and then how to leverage that in your Colfax RPA robots. Uh, there's a lot of things happening in, in this video series, um, and I'll make some, um, some cross references to earlier videos as well. Um, but afterwards, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, through the known channels. That being said, the episode of today is going to be threefold. I'm going to guide you through how to set up your Google account to get an API key. I'm going to show you how to then build a very simple robot uh, that does entity extraction uh, on any text that the, Go the Colfax RPA robots uh, got from anywhere and then submits it to the Google Cloud Natural Language Platform and gets the extracted entities back. After that, I'll show you how you can then incorporate this capability in a real well, a real world use case that leverage the breadth of the capabilities in the Colfax Intelligent Automation Platform, enriched by the Google Cloud Natural Language Platform. And again, in this example, I'm going to use entity extraction, but any of the other capabilities or methods unlocked by this platform can be used by Colfax RPA robots. That being said, the first thing you'll need is, of course, a Colfax RPA installation. For those of you that don't have one yet, please feel free to go out to the colfax.com uh, website where you can be where you can immediately register for a free trial. If you do that, you'll get a link uh, with, with where you can download the Colfax RPA installer and you'll be emailed a free license as well. That's going to be valid for 12 months. It's a full uh, it's a full flat platform. No, um, no features are missing in this trial. This is the exact platform you would get if you were to buy it as well. The other thing you would, of course, need is you'll need to have that API key that I mentioned before. So that API key actually, um, well, you can see it as, as the credential that you can use to uh, make yourself known to the Google platform. So in order for you to get that, uh, you'll need to go to cloud.google.com slash natural language with a dash in between. And as you can see, I'm already logged into my Google account. Uh, it might prompt you to do the same. And if you don't have one, please feel free to register as well. Um, if you don't go beyond 5,000 submissions to the platform a month, it's even free. So click go to console. Uh, you can then make it well. You can then decide whether you want to build your own custom machine learning model or if you want to use the pre-trained one. In today's example, I'm going to use the pre-trained one because I want to do entity extraction, and that's one of the pre-trained models. So. As you can see, for me, the Google Natural Language API is already enabled. If that's not the case for your account, go through the wizard and enable it. That's what we're going to use. And once you've done that, click on Manage. As you can see, I've made uh, several calls to the, uh, <laughs> to the platform already in the last couple of days. But what we're really interested in is the credentials. Uh, so in your case, you, this will be empty for you. So you'll need to create credentials, click API key. And once you've done that, you'll have your API key. Uh, do not share your API key with anyone else, because if they get their hands on this, they can do calls to the platform, well, in your name, so to say. So I could have then, of course, uh, blurred out my API key. But what I'm actually going to do after this video is I'll just delete it which actually invalidates the uh, the API key. So no worries there. So just click that, copy it to the clipboard, put it in a safe space, or if you really feel adventurous, try to memorize this, but uh, I would advise against it. 
So that being said, let's go into our Cofax development environment, the design studio. So this is something, and as, as we say in cooking shows as well, this is something I've prepared beforehand. So this is a really simple robot. And what's the actual um, uh, special one here is this call to the Google Cloud machine learning platform. And as you can see, this is now a normal REST web service call that calls the, uh, the Google URL. In this case, it's languages, googleapis.com. And um, I'm calling uh, version one on documents and I want to analyze entities. And as you can see, you then need to pass in your API key as a query string entry. So I've made that a, um, a variable here, but you can hard code it, whatever you want. In my case, because I need to remove API keys and delete them, I've made that a variable. So I've actually put that in my input parameter. So the input I'm using is the actual text that I want to have analyzed and the API key that I've got there. So in this case, the text I'm going to analyze is the Mona Lisa. It's a 16th century oil painting created by Leonardo. It's held at the Louvre in Paris. This is, of course, nice that I use this as an input parameter. So going forward, I can put in all kinds of text I want. Once I've done that, you'll see that what I'm actually doing is I do a restful post to that endpoint that I've defined there. And here I've got the actual request body. So the actual payload that I sent to Google. It's a JSON message. And as you can see, what I do is I've put the input text. So that Mona Lisa uh, text I, I, I just had in my input variable, that's the thing I'm gonna paste into that. So this is the JSON payload I want to send to Google. So if I do that, you'll see that it comes back with another JSON message, the JSON payload that contains all of the entities that it's been able to extract. And as this is a normal JSON message, we can easily do all kinds of things with our uh, Colfax RPA robot. So what I want to do is I want to loop through all these entities and extract uh, the text, the type. So in this case, Mona Lisa is of course a person, uh, but it could also be, well, it's T1 Enterprises. Well, that's an organization, or it could be it's Paris. So it's gonna be a location. The other thing I'm really interested in is the salience. I actually had to look up what that word meant, as I said in my uh, previous uh, video, but it's actually the, let, let's call it the importance of that entity in that text. So the quality of being particularly noticeable or important, the prominence of that word or that entity. So in this case, Mona Lisa has got a salience of uh, 0.52. Ah, that's, that's pretty good. You can also see the mentions uh, in any additional metadata that you might have. Uh, in this case, the Google uh, Cloud Natural Language Platform actually gives back the, you know, the Wikipedia URL, so you can immediately do something with that as well. So in this case, I just want to extract the text, the type, the relevance or the salience in this case, and I then want to return that. So without further ado, let's just click debug. And as you can see, it's been able to extract Mona Lisa, that's a person. It's an oil painting because it's a work of art. Person, Leonardo, location, the Louvre and location, Paris. So those are the uh, the entities that it's been able to extract from that. Well, this is of course a very, well, let's call it academic example. Um, so what I'd like to do is I want to make this a bit more real, so to say. So the process I want to do is I've got a, uh, a demo website here and on that website you can find legal documents uh, anything that has to do with legal texts so let's just quickly open them up I'm going to show you these documents and these are documents as you can see these are scanned documents this has actually been redacted as well there is no text layer to it and what I would like to do is I want to analyze these documents to see maybe I'm interested to see well if it's a if it's a le legal uh, transcripts. Okay, how is the, who are the entities? Is there a defendant? Is there a prosecutor? Who's the claimant? Uh, is there anything else that, are, that that is of interest to me? 
and the same thing is true for for some other documents i've just picked a a nice selection of uh, of legal documents this is actually a letter uh, with some some nice inspiring words there uh, this is something from uh, from from the UK actually Scotland Yard and as you can see no text layer there whatsoever so I'm going to use some other capabilities in the uh, Colfax Intelligent Automation platform uh, and in the end I want to extract all of this information so what I'll do is I'll acquire all these documents I then want to process them and I want to make this into uh, into a structured data and then i want to analyze that uh, after that i can actually well submit that to to any other system you might want to have so really nice to have that so without further ado and again i've done this uh, beforehand so here we have my robot let's let me quickly loop you through this document so the first thing i do is i've of course open up that web page the web page we just looked at. I want to loop through all the documents that you might have there. So the accident at Walmart, the grievance complaint, make a difference. Blah, blah, blah. What I want to do, because I don't have a system that I want to put this information into. So what I've done is I'm just going to write everything to a flat text file. But with the same ease, I could have put this in an Excel uh, document or I could have updated backhand systems. Uh, but that's something you've already seen Colfax RPA robots done a million times. I'm much more interested in the acquisition, processing, and the analyzing of the documents and how, where we deliver it to is of no concern in this demo, but you can imagine where we want to let this land. So we're actually extracting the document that on the uh, behind the hyperlink. And what we then do is we do tax extraction. So we are actually leveraging our document transformation services and the cognitive document automation to analyze this document, classify it, extract the text out of it and make sure that we only get the relevant text. And once we've done that, then submit that text to the Google Cloud natural language processing uh, platform. So what we're now doing is we are submitting that document to uh, to the DTS, the Document Transformation Service. That's going to take a while. Once we've done that, it's going to be submitted to the Google Cloud ML. We're going to extract the response from that, open it up, and for each and every item in there, uh, so the, each and every entity, we're going to write that into the uh, to the text file as well. So as you can see, we've now extracted that. We've now submitted it to Google. Once we've done that, you'll see that it returns all of the entities. And as you'll see, it's got a lot more. So that the, the most important one is Michael Ira Asin, and that's a person. And we're then just going to loop through all of the, the entities. And for each one of those entities, we are extracting, again, the text, the type, the relevance, or the salience in this, in, 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 in this uh, case, and write it into a file. So let's have a quick look at that document. This document, what that's the first document that we've done. So this is something that really has to do with Michael Ira Asin PC he has been hired by Walmart store. So this is the claimant in this uh, in this case. So without further ado, let's run this in debug and let me open up the text file. So this is a text file that we're looking at. Let me open it up in Notepad++. Close all with this. So right now it has written the accident at Walmart because that's the document that we're looking at. And if we then keep an eye on this, you'll see that it has submitted the first document uh, for tax extraction to Colfax DTS, and it's now already done the second one. So if I switch back to Notepad++, it's going to give me the rest. So it's Michael Asin. It's a person. So in this case, I'm only writing um, the um, uh, what's it called? The uh, the actual well, entity name and the entity uh, type to this document. And it's now working on the grievance complaint. Oh, it's already at the fourth document. So if I switch again and update it, you'll see that we now have the grievance complaint where Terry Crisp is the uh, most important person or important entity, I should say. Make a difference. Harry Redburn. And the Scotland Yard response. Let's see. Oh, that's still being extracted. That was a that was a tough one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, 
Here we go. Accident at Walmart, grievance complaint, make a difference, Scotland Yard, it's web, solicitors, reference. All of these have been analyzed. And the last one is the complaint investigation, which is now being processed. Reload it, scroll down. Here you go. So again, this has been a real quick introduction on how to leverage the Google Cloud Natural Language Platform in your Colfax RPA robots. I've shown you, of course, where you can get Colfax RPA and where you can uh, request your free trial. I've guided you through how to set up your Google account so that you can indeed leverage uh, those capabilities and where to get your API key. I've shown you how to build a very small robot to actually prove that uh, integration between these two platforms. So Colfax RPA on the one hand and Google Cloud Natural Language Platform on the other. And after that, I've shown you an end-to-end -end process leveraging a lot of the Colfax intelligent automation capabilities uh, where we uh, went through a, a certain system to retrieve documents, uh, utilize Colfax cognitive document automation to extract the data from that document and then submitted that that and that that data to the Google Cloud Natural Language Platform and got the extracted entities and the types of entities and the salience back and then of course deliver that to the backend systems. Well, this has been a 16 minute video. Hope you enjoyed it. And as I mentioned, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, always willing to to answer any questions you might have. Uh, that being said, have a good one. Cheers.